Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm excited to bring you around our home for Christmas 2018. So this video that I'm doing today is in collaboration with several of my other YouTube friends and we are all gonna be sharing our home, part of it, all of it, for Christmas. And so I've created a playlist in the description below where you can find all the links to all of these tours and go visit for some other great Christmas inspiration. They're all some great YouTube friends of mine and I hope that you will find some new people to follow along with and subscribe to all their channels as well. So today's Christmas tour is what I'm gonna call a minimalist last minute Christmas tour. And the reason for that is we are selling our home. Now, if you follow along with my vlog, you probably already know that we've bought a new farmhouse and we are selling our home so that we can buy that one and move from this one and so we've had about 20 house showings in the last week and a half which has meant a mad dash for stashing dishes in the basement laundry in the dryer getting the beds all made hiding all evidence that five children and two adults live in this crazy little home so with that in mind I decided just to add some simple touches throughout our home On the front porch, I actually bought a wreath this year from Target. Now, I like to make my own greenery wreaths. I actually shared a tutorial last year on how to make a fresh greenery wreath, but as I previously mentioned, life has been just a little bit beyond crazy right now. I also snagged some lanterns and this iron wood holder my friend actually made for me. I will leave a link in the description below. She just opened up her Etsy shop, but I just love it and think it looks so pretty on our porch and gives a little bit of curb appeal while we are selling it. For the Christmas tree, I used a big roll of ribbon and just kind of fluffed it out around the tree. Then I strung some lights and yes, I regret not getting a pre-lit tree. I don't know what I was thinking because I would much prefer to have it already lit up. Then I just used some bells that I got last year from World Market and cut bundle of bells up and hung them all individually on the tree for kind of a simple look. Now you'll notice that my living room is not completely finished. There's a few stockings I didn't hang because I planned to make some. I made the tan stockings from reclaimed materials. I bought a sweater. I actually have a tutorial right here on YouTube for that. I'll link it in the description below, but I'd planned to make a few more stockings from a different knit fabric that I had and well, I didn't get to it. So the built-ins are slightly incomplete, but at least they are festive with some fresh eucalyptus and my antique brass candlesticks. I get a lot of questions about these lamps. I will leave a link for those in the description below as well. I have the same ones over the sink in my kitchen. Last year, I shared a tutorial on how to make these drop cloth rag ball ornaments, as well as a few other ornament tutorials that I'll leave a link for. And then I just went with bells just to keep it really, really simple. I didn't want the house to look cluttered for showings, but just have a little bit of Christmas cheer. I get a lot of questions about this table. My husband actually built it. I will leave a link for the plans in the description below that he used to build it. 
I have my diffuser going with some Holiday Joy essential oil blend. It really smells wonderful. And then I just hung a eucalyptus wreath that a friend from Instagram sent me. I'll leave a link to where that came from below. She actually sent me two of them and you'll see the other one in my bedroom, which sits right off the kitchen. In that room, I just went with a few more pictures of eucalyptus and some more bells. Other than that, I just kept it exactly like I have it for fall. Now off the master bedroom, of course, is the master bathroom. And in there, I did nothing more than added some eucalyptus and then a few of the flowers that I had from my home staging still left uh, from the last week of home showings. I decided to include the white flowers in with some of the eucalyptus, but that is the extent of my Christmas bathroom decor. Not that I usually go too wild in the bathroom for Christmas anyway. In the mudroom, I added a little bit of festivity with some ice skates that I added a bell and some ribbon and eucalyptus to. I actually found those last year at a thrift shop and thought they would be fun to hang somewhere in the Christmas and winter season. Now in the newly renovated bathroom, again, I just added a pitcher of eucalyptus and some fresh flowers and that is enough for Christmas there. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that tour and I hope that you're encouraged that if you don't have a lot of time this season or if it feels overwhelming to decorate, just bringing in a little bit of fresh greenery and just a couple of minimal things, you can have a nice Christmas cheery home without having to spend a lot of time and definitely not a lot of money. Make sure to visit the playlist below and go check out all the other Christmas homes on this tour. I know you're gonna leave inspired and hopefully with a few new faces to follow along with. Well, if you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Also, be ready to follow along with us as we fix up this new farmhouse that we're gonna get. I'm gonna give you a full tour. I've had so many questions on Instagram about when I'm actually gonna show the home. Until everything closes, it is not officially ours yet, so I can't do that, but I cannot wait to bring you along with it. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.